we are going to use this informational text about sharks in order to fill out a Venn diagram on the next slide comparing and contrasting white sharks or sorry great white sharks to hammerhead sharks did you know that there are over 350 types of sharks two of the most common are great white shark and the hammerhead shark these sharks and all sharks belong to a group of fish that do not have bones instead their bodies are supported by cartilage which is softer and more flexible than bone their skin is very rough it is so rough in fact that it has been used as sandpaper. Sharks have the same senses that we have, however, their senses of sight, smell, and hearing are much stronger than ours. While both the great white and the hammerhead are sharks, they have many differences. So here in this paragraph, paragraph number one, they are given our similarities. The great white shark is at the top of the food chain once it becomes an adult, often preying on sea animals such as sea lions, as an adult, great white sharks can weigh in at more than 4,500 pounds. But sharks don't, off, don't start off at the top of the food chain. Baby sharks or pups must avoid their other predators for their first years of life, including other great white sharks. Some pups don't live past a year because of the predators. The hammerhead shark is much different than the great white shark. For starters, its head is shaped like a rectangle, giving it, giving it its name. The shape of their head allows them to trap their favorite meal, stingrays. Their eyes located on the side of their head, which allows them to, see, to easily scan the ocean quicker than other species of sharks can. Even though stingrays are their favorite meal, they also eat bony fish, crab, lobsters, and other sea creatures. These sharks only weigh in at about 500 pounds. These pups, just like the great white shark pups, have to worry about predators when they are first born. Once they are adults, they do not have many predators though. So we're going to use these three paragraphs to create a Venn diagram with the similarities in the middle and the differences in the outside circles.